Well, looks like... Well, I was gonna say Mario's a shoe in for the next star, but he ain't got no coins, so... I don't know. Actually... Here's a... Wait, no, never mind. I was gonna say, if the next minigame just so happens to be a lucky minigame and I somehow win, then I'd get 20 coins and have 50 I'd be able to steal Peach's Star, but I took the route that doesn't go next to Boo, and oh goody, we get to team up against the Queen of Darkness herself with water pistols that have really, really awful range. Seriously, if this were like a game that involved like complex stats, I think these water pistols have a range of one. Okay, maybe maybe two or three. I'll, I'll be a little generous. I mean, heck, I've played games with swordsmen that had a range of one. So this is a little bit better than that. Okay, come on, guys. We gotta we gotta get up on her and we gotta trap her and then we gotta spray her and uh, I'm just gonna stop talking now. Man, we only hit her twice. We needed to hit her, like, what, five times, I think, to win? This is... bollocks. I haven't been keeping track that much, but I am... absolutely positive Peach is definitely leading for Minigame Star. I mean, heck, she wouldn't be able to afford two stars if that weren't the case, more than likely. By the way, what turn are we on? Okay, we're, we're only on turn six. This is just not my day, right, Yoshi? You always know what to say, Yoshi. You know, in games uh, like Mario Party 3, where everyone has the same line and it's funny to see how differently uh, each character delivers it, I always like to pick a character that can speak English, but uh, now I've realized the flexibility and fun that can be had with speaking a, with picking a character that doesn't speak English. Like, that could mean anything. That means toaster. That means animal crackers. And that means raisin bread. I should probably have eaten dinner before I started recording. Either that, or I'm just naming things that are next to my computer at the current time. Mouse. Paper towels. A, a can of soda. Or should I say sparkling water beverage? It's not actually pop. I'm going on a really annoying and pointless rant, aren't I? But... A lot of a lot of this minigame is going to depend on position, because I have a good strategy for getting the middle ring. You gotta release the ball uh, after the top of your arc and shortly before you land, like almost halfway, really. Only problem really is if uh, someone is close to you, like where Wario is now, and he steals all the baskets. But so far, that's not happening. So I am finally. <laughs> going to win a minigame that occurred at the end of a turn. I did win that one battle minigame, but I'm pretty sure those don't count for minigame stars, so... It's not a shutout. In fact, that particular minigame was a blow -out. Can I get a couple extra coins? For my services? Just pay by the point. Duel! Oh, right. It's not last five turns, and this game also doesn't even have duels. So they had all those other minigame types that they had to accompany for, like Battles and... Bowser, and actually that's about it. There's no item minigames either. Well, now that I think about it... Well, Peach definitely is a shoo-in for minigame star, I might have coin. Considering, like, not anything super bad has happened to me, and I've been able to string together a couple of lucky breaks on my part. Of course, if I go to the... the lottery and win the grand prize of 100 coins, then... Well, obviously I'll be leading for coin star then, but that... That's pretty much the case for anyone, regardless if they happen to win top prize of the lottery. It's almost like getting a free star 
but not quite. Hold on a second here. We might actually want to see Wario have something happen to him and get a bunch of coins, except he did a dumb thing and was like, I'm a computer, I love the Mini Mega Hammer. No one who is a human who ever plays this game ever buys this item, so I'm going to instead. It's one of the weird things about the AI in this game. They love buying warp pipes and they love buying Mini Mega Hammers. I have no idea why. But as I was always saying before Wario ruined it, if we got him some more money, he could get to Boo with 50 coins and even things up a bit for me. I mean, it, it's, it helps him too, but it helps me slightly more. Uh, why do I have to work with Peach? I'm gonna take a dive here. No, I'm not really gonna take a dive, but I'm actually kinda bad at this minigame. Okay, I see one of the blocks that I need. I hope that Peach isn't going to that one. Oh. Okay. I'm not too far behind schedule. Peach, you moron! Finish. I started out at the top! I get the one on the top. Why did you go there? Don't know why I'm hitting my chest while I'm saying that, but... This is ridiculous! Maybe she just really wanted to be in the picture, like she was taking... She knew I was starting to do a little bit better for myself, and so she took a dive too. Yeah, I don't think the, C the uh, CPUs collude like that. Woochah! Three! I saw ten flash right before I hit the dice block. Hmm. Not getting anywhere in this game. Also, where's this... Oh, that's right. Mario... Pa it's towards the beginning. Mario passed by it, but he didn't have the cash. I wonder what Wario's buying that hammer for. I mean, it's only good for... I mean, I guess it's a flexible item. Like, it can kind of be both a mini and a mega, because I believe you can use it on yourself. But I believe it's mostly intended to be used as something that you use to afflict other players. I don't know. Maybe? It, it doesn't really specify in the manual or in-game at all, and oh boy. But I think the computers might do the thing that they did in Mario Party 2 and 3, where they specifically go after certain items, like Waluigi really likes Sparky stickers, for example. Well, crap. I, like, immediately do really badly, and also the, uh... Ran is, like, having a hard time catching up, like, uh... You can see it, like, getting rendered in spurts behind me. It's kinda... Not... not great for when I'm trying to... guesstimate how well I'm doing, but if I had to guess, I'd say I'm doing kinda bad. I do not think that was a first or second place finish, and can you finish the crayon? I did finish the thing, right? Oh, a tie for first? I still don't see the end bit getting rendered. I hope I still got points for it. This was the worst thing that could have happened on this turn. Now Peach has tons of cash, and I'm back to barely being able to afford the star, assuming I get there. Sorry, I, I don't really have a lot to say right now because I'm still just like staring at the AIs in this marvelous, wonder wonderful machine of chaos that is transpiring in front of me and just trying to make sense of it all. And oh, holy yes! When I said I did a practice round of this game, I did like this random four-player minigames. Mario's, Mario's speed wagons came up three times and I have smoked the AI every single time. Because computers don't understand that you shouldn't hit the gas until after the green light hits. I have no idea why they don't know that. Have they not played Mario Kart? Although I will be be honest, there are other racing games that I've played, uh, like drag races in a couple of the more recent Need for Speed games that 
you're actually supposed to do like a burnout and like have your wheels going before the race starts and I guess because your tires are warmed up you have better grip with the road thus you go faster that's the that's the reason given I don't know if that's how it works in real life but anyways that's not a Mario game so these characters shouldn't be thinking that way unless they are which I guess it kind of makes sense why Wario would use his hammer on Mario. I mean, to give him less space so that Wario can try and catch up to him, smush his coins out of him, and then get the next star. But he also went in the complete opposite direction of the star. Almost as if he's prioritizing people to squish over getting to the next star. And he rolls like a chump and is definitely only getting one of us, if that. Yeah, he's getting none of us. Oh, goody Bowser. Bowser, in this particular game, pretty much never takes away stars, but uh, can we just take one of Peach's stars away, please? And holy yes! Uh, I know holy yes isn't like an actual term of phrase. I don't know why I've used it twice already. You guys already know if you've been watching my videos, I'm slightly out of my mind. So what Bowser game are we playing? Also, I kind of neglected to notice what uh, what the penalty for losing is. Luckily, this is a game that I'm kind of decent at. I could totally cheat and take a screenshot here because he's just going to have this... All right, wait, stop. We got to look at here. All right. Banana, pineapple, melon, banana, cherry. I think I saw a grape in there, too. I go second because I... Am I in third place overall? This is typically by position, I believe. Now we begin the slow process of just consistent anticipation and tensing up whenever he's about to start eating stuff. Especially like it when he decides to <laughs> fake you out. Every once in a while there'll be one fruit that's totally off of his list, but I know for a fact that that cherry appeared towards the end. These are probably my favorite Bowser minigames in all of Mario Party, just because it's a huge spectacle. You go into this other realm, and the Koopa kids are in the background cracking jokes, and Bowser himself cracks jokes at the end, and uh, you just feel like this is Bowser's world, and we are here to serve him. Hmm... And another interesting dynamic, I suppose, is that unlike a lot of the other Bowser minigames, in this one, there is only one loser. And again, I skipped the dialogue, so I don't know who but the one loser will lose. It's probably a certain amount of coins. Typically, it's either half or all. Sometimes it's items, which is super lame, because no one really cares about losing items. It just occurred to me that I should have paid a lot more attention to that text box, and by that text box I actually mean what other people were picking when it wasn't my turn. Again, pretty sure I saw a grape go through by really fast, and I'm pretty sure no one else has picked grape. I'm also fairly certain banana is in there at least twice. No! No! Ah! Well, now I get to find out what I lose. I knew I should have picked banana. There really wasn't grape on there? I could have sworn I saw a letter, a word that ended in the letters. Oh, it was for items, so it was a completely pointless minigame because no one had any items. I'm so glad Bowser came in and wasted everybody's time. Thank you, Bowser! You're always a wonderful and generous host. 